Hello, welcome again to another episode of Amnesia. Okay, so from what I remember, I fell down this chute and I am supposed to be going the other way. Yeah, I remember. I think I remember. That's supposed to be scary Or you know There's some sort of electrical current going down in the water That's more of like just a warning you know Don't go into the water, you'll get shocked this is okay. okay, this is probably where I'm supposed to go Run, run Oh, oh it's a gate Okay Okay, now I just think that's actually something down there in the water. Slush gate one out. There's two ways to go. It's either this way or the other way. Obviously, I can't go down there. If only there's like a, a way to map out everything. Okay. Slush 1, Slush 2, okay. Uh, oh, this needs... this needs the... Uh, Several of the older forms have breached their containment area and have escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. This is no clam and I am no Yahoo! At least not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to blame. Wait, that sounds so wrong. Heat it is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open. The doorway between open. Keeping the doorway in between. Right, right, right. It's the keeping the doorway between. Okay. We cannot simply pack them about with the coolant as we do need we do at the central center where the doorway is. The later versions are kept safe by the freezing temperatures of those waters. Uh, up here where the air is hot and fatigued they become overheated the duality tears and them asunder as the other place flies from their cells the vitae splitters the vitae they fly sporadically torn from one world to another back into again in un violent unpredictable bursts for a few seconds they are creatures of this world then they are torn away and cease to have physical form these vicious ripping back and forth between worlds have driven them quite insane i have ordered the affected area sealed and will not allow my loyal walkers to enter these are damn places now the abode of fear experiments ghosts of fear and spite It looks like I'm reaching the bottom. Fast Atlantis, drain the waters, open the way to the bilge pumps. We are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. Who? Who's waiting for me? Just 
too quiet. Don't like it. Yeah, definitely there's still a pig there. Very certain there's a pig over there. Oh, it's so dark, can't see anything. Okay, sure, why not? Oh, this one's open. A pig that's probably patrolling there. But we can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Hernandez, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer. This visionary with whom you have embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Yep. Dealing with pigs. I don't like it. It's getting closer. Suddenly he'll be just Ooh, I see you around the corner. Okay. No. No. Okay. Is it safe? Oh, okay. Oh, maybe I was supposed to actually notice him running. And I look, and I said, look, my darlings, can you see it? And they said, yes, daddy, yes. Yes, daddy, yes. We see it, a tall weather cap of a steel-sided pyramid. So like those of Egypt, stone falling away from the summit, vines crawling about intertwining the stucco serpents that drive from its steps. A palpable sense of stillness, a weight of forgotten. And this here, this is where the king sat. And this is where the priests live. This house, this is the house of the dead. And here, where the sun strikes, this is where they threw the hearts that, could, that were not consumed. No, my darlings, they most certainly were not savages. You see, they believed that the sky could fall on their heads and they truly, truly believed that offering blood was the only way of stopping this from happening. Perhaps, my darlings, perhaps they were mistaken altogether, or perhaps their tragedy was that they could not simply spill blood enough to prevent the sky from falling upon them. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Ooh, another contraption. Interesting, interesting. Let me just, you know. Uh, 
Okay, good. Yep, it's okay. Sure, why not? Just making sure this is closed. Okay, good. Do I have to worry about that then? Scary. That's it, Papa. You're so near now. What are those? Sounds so close. and rooms of all these metal doors. Oh, okay. This is like a nice place to... I don't want to fall to my death. Okay, I was meant to come here. Alright. 
Nope, I don't like the sound. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. to hell oh my goodness I don't like it it's so dark can't see anything okay oh my goodness it's so dark oh okay the left and right thing kind of pointless it's so dark making more noise Why is this so bright? Oh, am I? I'm still the same area. I think I'll just move on a little bit more. You seem to have undergone quite a profound conversion in Mexico, Mr. Mandarin. You could not have seen it yourself and not, Professor. As we disembarked, even through my fever, I saw the detritus of this so-called progress. I saw starvation and disease, rot and destruction polluting the waters of the Empire. We are ruiners, you and I, and all of us, and we make the world unclean. And you took it upon yourself to act as Redeemer. Professor, I would not be so presumptuous. I am merely a conduit. I am constructing an architecture to wrestle our damnation to the ground and smother it with steam. Mm. So, I, Mr. Mandus, am trying to redeem myself. Some form of another. He's here! He's here! I don't like these tiles. These tiles are bad tiles. Uh, steam. It's gonna blow in my face. I said you'd come. That's different. Bit, whatever is underwater. Ahead, the trickle to still waters. I drag myself deeper into the temple, downward ever, towards a wind that held the voices of my children, beckoning me to set them free. What was that? Okay, I think I'll stop here for the time being. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, my hair is standing everywhere. This is creepy. And uh, I don't like it. It's so unnerving. The story is really interesting. It's like This guy is like walking the path of trying to redeem himself. Shut up, waters. Uh, I will continue this uh, tomorrow. And see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.